Hello and welcome to the next FreeQMS 5 minute video series, where you can get acquainted and set up on any module in just 5 minutes or less. Today we'll be focusing on the Kappa module. You'll start by logging into FreeQMS.com. If you've already created a company or admin account in FreeQMS, or if you've been appointed an account by an admin within your company, then you'll use those same credentials. Once signed in, you will arrive at the FreeQMS homepage. If you have admin permissions and need to make any changes to your own or other users' accounts, then you can click the Users button on the left side of the page. You can create or edit new user accounts here. When finished, you can click the FreeQMS logo at the top left of the screen to return to the home page, then click the Kappa icon to be directed to the full Kappa module. The same as the other modules, you'll be taken to a directory page that shows all created forms for that specific module. You can click the Create Kappa button at the top to open a new Kappa form. The mandatory fields are Title, Coordinator, which is auto populated from FreeQMS data, and Kappa status. Once you've completed at least these fields, you'll be able to click the Create button at the bottom left of the screen. From the Kappa directory, you can click the Kappa you just created to open it and see the changes you made. At the top will be an assortment of tabs that you can utilize to improve your process, such as Kappa Activities, which allows for containment, investigation and root cause, correction, corrective action, preventive action, verification of effectiveness or VOE, and notify external party activities. There's also the Files tab, where you'll be able to upload documentation, the Task tab, where you can assign tasks to other users, and the Approvals tab, where you will route various approval cycles with your team. And with that, you're set to go. It really is as simple as that. In just 5 minutes, you're filling out your own Kappa forms. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next video in our 5-minute FreeQMS series.